So today I wanted to make a video on the Bronco and what it's like to drive a daily drive pre-owner pretty much. Um, this is my 1992 Ford Bronco. It doesn't have any of those crazy four and a half over beam kits yet, but it does have a nice uh, stock width cut and turn mid travel kit from Solo Motorsports. So that's what I'm running on this truck. It comes with both scene 5100s all the way around and then the Deaver leaf spring package in the back. Comes with the cut and turn beams down here. I enjoy it, it's a good truck, good uh, good suspension kit. I have the 5.8 liter V8 in here, 35 inch tires. Uh, I'm running the Mickey Thompson Deacon 38s, that's about it. So the first thing about driving a car like this is obviously the looks, it's pretty big. That's what she said. <laughs> so it's, it's hard to miss and I do get a lot of attention for it, some good, some bad. So let's go ahead and move into the interior of the truck and I'll show you what's going on with that. So the interior, as you can see, is all stock. Stock seats, stock steering wheel, stock seat belts, all that stuff. So I'm not really having to climb and no cage. There's no cage yet, but I do want to get a cage because I feel a lot safer with one. But without all that stuff, I'm not really having to climb in and out of a bucket seat or try to throw my leg over the cage each time or try to dodge anything and uh, the seat belts I don't have the harness yet so it's just a simple seat belt so that definitely helps a lot because I've seen and heard a lot of people say that um, in their trucks so like, it's pretty easy for me to get in and out I've heard a lot of other people with bucket seats say that it's kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, and another thing this truck has is a straight piped exhaust, which it makes it sound like I'm going a lot faster than I actually am just because it's loud and the motor has to turn those big tires with the terrible stock gearing that I have. So it tends to upset some people, especially people who don't know how to mind their own business. But other than that, I enjoy it personally because I like loud exhaust. If the car doesn't have loud exhaust to me, it's not fun. So let me go ahead and start it up so you guys can kind of hear what it sounds like. So yeah, it's pretty loud. It sounds pretty good. I mean, I enjoy it a lot. Other people don't enjoy it as much as I do, but... All right, so now we're gonna take a little drive. Uh, I wanna show a couple things about it when it is driving and moving. Uh, one of the things is body roll. There is more body roll than stock. If you have any passengers and they don't know about the body roll, they're gonna think that you're gonna flip over and, and crash because they're not used to having that much of, of a roll going into turns and, and stuff like that, so. Sounds like we're going pretty fast, but like 15 miles an hour, not even, not even close. See, not even 15. I think that's why so many people get so mad at me because they think that I'm going really fast when I'm not. It tends to happen a lot, actually. Even when I'm parked, which is weird. I was parked and someone came down and started yelling at me. I'm like, hey, why are you racing? I'm like, I'm not racing, my car is parked. So, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with that. Also, another thing is, I don't know if you guys can hear it on camera, but I have a 55 inch curved light bar with two pods and some custom made light bar mounts that me and my buddy Jared made. And so, when you get up to speed, they whistle a tiny bit and you can hear it. It's, it's not as bad when you're going slow like this, but the faster you go, the worse it gets. Especially on the freeway, it sounds like they're just gonna rip the whole top of your car off. Look at that. That was pretty cool. Okay, so I came up here to an empty parking lot. Um, and I'm just gonna try to get some interior and exterior clips of the body roll and the exhaust, just so you guys can kind of hear and see what it's like. So I'm gonna start out by just doing some, some turns. BMW 
WIV, huh? Go over speed bump. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and set the camera up and get some exterior shots of the exhaust and the body roll. Okay, so I'm gonna try a different parking lot just because this one's very slick and the tires are squealing a lot. They're making a lot of noise. So I don't want to upset anyone. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna go try another one, another parking lot that's probably more grippy. All right, so another thing is these parking structures. It's pretty loud. I set off alarms. I used to hit the ceiling when I had my antenna, so I had to take that off. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the camera. Try to get a few more shots of the body roll. I'm not sure if the camera can really pick it up that well, but in the cameras never really do anything justice. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Bronco. Uh, that's what it's like to daily drive it. I mean, it's a pretty comfortable car, a lot of space on the interior, lots of space in there. Um, some good trunk space. Got a lot of room back there. Good feet space, a lot of leg room in the back for uh, any passengers that you have and yeah that'll be it for this one